Hi guys, so welcome back to our YouTube channel. So we've been quite inactive for some time now because we've been quite busy with our uh, coursework since we landed to the United States. So as you all know, we have come for a master's year uh, in computer science at Santa Clara University. So we are right now in California. And so we thought of doing something different today, like an informative vlog. So as we are students at Santa Clara University, we thought we would do a short campus tour on Santa Clara University and also provide some more information about a nearby grocery stores, the housing, the transportation uh, close to the university and much more. going right ahead to the mission church uh, which is one of the most famous churches at Santa Clara so this is a museum at Santa Clara which is within the campus itself and here we are at uh, the Santa Clara mission church uh, which is the oldest church here at Santa Clara and here we are in and around the campus <laughs> So this is the Edward Dowd building here within the campus. So we had one of our classes here uh, in, the fall. in a fall quarter I guess. So if you want us to make any video regarding the coursework, so we can make it if you want. So you can comment down uh, and we can make such a video. So the coursework will be on masters in computer science and engineering since we are pursuing it. So let us know. A very beautiful place within the campus where uh, people come here and uh, they have family picnics also here so there are like family outings that happen here as well as students come here to study here so because it's so peaceful <laughs> So this is the Varsi Hall here uh, where most of your uh, documentation work goes on here. So if uh, any international students have to take their OPT or CPT, so they will have to come here for any kind of documentation work. So this is the center point uh, from where all the lecture halls can be accessed. So this is one of the halls and it goes by. That's the Benson Center where you can have your uh, meals and all your beverages. And this is the library. So this library is like a, a three storage building. So you can come here and study and you have like many resources accessible here. So like there are many students coming here to study mostly. So this is the Sobrato campus. So this is like the new building uh, that was uh, inaugurated recently. So this is the building for innovation and mostly for engineering students. So uh, this is like the outside view of it. It's really, really beautiful. So this is the outside view of the Subrato Hall. And yeah, Noida is wearing the Santa Clara University. School of Engineering t-shirt <laughs> So this is the entrance of the Benson Center and that's the Bronco Corner so you can have all your Santa Clara merchandise here 
uh, which is like the shirt and the cap and many other things So this is a help desk uh, where you can get your access card uh, of Santa Clara University and uh, this is a place where you can come and ask for any information that you want and even related to the COVID-19 resources. So this is Benson Center uh, where you have the cafeteria where you get all kinds of meals here and other beverages that you want. Uh, so it's a huge center. Uh, so one uh, floor down there's a place called seller market where you get it's like a kind of a mart where you get all kinds of food items uh, similar to a grocery store so we are sitting outside benson center because we are really tired walking <laughs> around the campus uh, so we actually even want to focus on the on-campus job that santa clara university provides so the on-campus here at Santa Clara University so you can have like many jobs here so it's like quite easily you can get it I can say because we didn't find much problem in finding one so here uh, there are like many jobs so you can apply through Workday so Workday is a portal where uh, they post various other uh, op open positions uh, at the university so there are like many positions like you have like your, your library and many other things so there are like theater ministry you have the um, athletics team and also you can go there and uh, have an on-campus job there so they hire you so they have like these interviews and all which they schedule and then uh, they hire you uh, based on it so you can apply through that and uh, even at you can work even at the uh, benson center so the on-campus job is still available here so they give you work uh, at the cafeteria or anything like that. So there are like many students working here, like uh, many students worked here. So it's nothing like that people don't work at the cafeteria and all because it's, I mean, anyone works here. It's totally fine. It's totally normal in the US to work in the cafeteria because you earn for yourself. So that's a really good thing here. So that's one of the things which you wanted to talk because like many students, uh, they don't know how to uh, apply for on-campus jobs at any university so uh, basically for Santa Clara University this is the information which you wanted to give. Uh, this is the on-campus housing at Santa Clara University and uh, it has uh, many on-campus housing available here if you want to stay in campus and this is the Mali Center which is a fitness center in Santa Clara University you can go to the gym here it's accessible and to everyone uh, like to all Santa Clara University students so you can hit the gym anytime here so it's like uh, open till 9 o'clock at night I guess it opens early in the morning and other than that right that side uh, there is the uh, uh, tennis court and on the left hand side there is the swimming uh, pool so you can go swimming there if you want and inside the Mali's fitness center you even have a badminton court so if you wish to play badminton or anything you can come here and play you have basketballs so you can play any game here inside here so it's, it's a really good place and our university is actually known for athletics so we have a very famous uh, uh, soccer team here at Santa Clara so there are like many many matches that happen here in the in the university itself so you can go and watch these games anytime it's free for santa clara university students so you can go anytime and watch these games so this is a zipcar station at santa clara university so there are many zipcar stations around santa clara and in the bay area so this is one of the cheapest option for students who are studying here who can drive around and you know you get zipcars per hourly rate and it's around 12 to 13 dollars and you get this uh, Zipcar membership uh, through your Indian driving license too. So we got our uh, membership through the Indian driving license and it's very easier to roam around through uh, the Zipcar. This is Safeway. So this is the grocery store that we were talking about and it is uh, just uh, five minutes from the university. So you get all the kinds of food items here that you want, uh, which is just a walkable distance here and it can be taken anytime because it uh, stays open till uh, 12 o'clock. So this is the store. <laughs> quite hot around here in Santa Clara today. <laughs> 
so people like there's lot of uh, walking around here so people mostly prefer to uh, use a bicycle uh, which is good to travel around here and also electric scooty which is like you can take 12 to 15 miles around here in santa clara and there's a public uh, bus transportation here which is called vta and uh, it is just 2.5 dollars for 2 hours so you can travel around you can go to new india bazaar you can go to patel brothers so these are the uh, Indian stores actually in and around Santa Clara. So most of the Indian Indians who stay around here, they prefer going to these places. So we mostly shop from New India Bazaar because you get all uh, vegetables and your masalas and all the Indian foodstuffs which you crave and which you can't make here. You get these ready-made mixes also here. So we mostly prefer those. So these are very uh, good options here uh, like uh, and it's quite close from here so you just take a VTA like the bus from here and it's just like a 10 minutes uh, bus ride to these stops and it's really really good. Caltrain as well so these are like the trains which you can travel to San Francisco so by any chance if you all want to go from here to San Francisco uh, like and you all want a cheaper option to, uh, so Caltrain is like a very good option here so it's like $8 to San Francisco. And yeah, so San Francisco is like one hour drive from here. So not many people like would prefer going by Uber or any kind of cabs here because that's quite expensive. So that's like a really good option. And other than that, uh, talking about banks. So after students land here, they uh, need to create a bank account here. So we have like two good options here for banks. So we have the Chase Bank and the Bank of America. So uh, both have a really good option. So they have these student uh, uh, options where you don't have to uh, pay any kind of interest or anything like that. So that's actually a very good thing. So the Bank of America is quite here right in front of Santa Clara University and the Chase Bank is uh, close to uh, the New India Bazaar and Patel Brothers. So either options are quite feasible and it's a really good option. Uh, so mostly students prefer these. So talking about housing, we have many housing options here. So students mostly prefer uh, staying in these popular housing in and around Santa Clara University. So there is uh, domicilio apartments, we have Park Central, we have Normandy and Timberleaf. So uh, domicilio and Park Central are quite close to the university. So domicilio is right in front of the university and Park Central is at the uh, is like behind the university. So both are like uh, 5 to 8 minutes walking distance so that's a very good option other than that uh, like as you as and when you stay close to the universities the pricings are quite high but if you stay a bit far from the university so you have a timber leaf and normandy there so there the pricing options are quite uh, less but uh, there's a lot of walking so it's like a good 20 minutes walk from the uh, from there so uh, these are like the options which people people mostly prefer for off-campus housing and there are like many students who prefer on-campus housing as well but that's quite uh, expensive but it's still uh, good i feel but uh, off-campus housing is actually fun you can you stay with uh, different people here and you make your own groups and stay and you have like many indians also in and around here uh, like from in, in the university itself there are like many indians here so you don't feel uh, like you're away from India. So that's a very good thing here. And there are like many uh, events that happen, Indian events here. So we have a um, student organization uh, at Santa Clara. So that's for graduate students. So that's uh, Swades. So they uh, organize various events like sports events and uh, festivities. So we have Diwali uh, and uh, many other cricket leagues and all. So there's a cricket league right now going on. So that's actually uh, you can participate in and have fun. So yeah, so this was it for from our side. So if you want any other uh, information related to uh, housing or anything it could be like in and around Santa Clara University so you can just let us know and we can try to cover it up in our next vlog and uh, so you can just comment down below and let us know so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and have fun guys bye bye bye